come and, and recite for people. But alhamdulillah, we have charitable works yeah, all, all around the world. Our projects in Pakistan, our projects in Vancouver, and our projects in Los Angeles. And alhamdulillah, this year we added two vans, one van in Vancouver and the Fatima Zara van that you saw outside and Fatima Zara Helping Hand van in Los Angeles. And alhamdulillah, with a great success, the, the mission of that van was to find food that people want to throw away and redistribute out. And till today, in the last six, seven months when they got the van, thousands of pounds of food have been salvaged. 7,000 meals on one occasion from an airline. The airline had the food they wanted to throw away, it's all frozen. And the gentleman from the Fatima Zara contacted them and they received that food, they distributed it to different missions in, in the Vancouver area. They pick up all the food from the different retail outlets and they distribute them downtown and to the Muslim food bank wherever is applicable. So alhamdulillah for, for these gentlemen for putting this together, working hard to find the food, to distribute the food and to put our life, our life's religion, our deen in action, that the actions speak louder than the words, that to feed people and to feed ourselves is alhamdulillah good for our body, but to feed other people is good for the soul. The Fatima Zara helping van, similar in Los Angeles, collecting food, food items and then going back into the Skid Row areas and distributing that food and giving a very positive and loving image of Islam. Our projects in Pakistan are water wells and food distribution for orphanages and the repairing of orphanages. In the next two days they'll have a grand maulid in Pakistan for all yatims and they have about 300 different yatim they bring by bus into an association, they put a beautiful Mawli the Nabi and many different projects. So we, we pray that people enjoying tonight, enjoying the projects in Vancouver, enjoying the Milad, and that it's all capable or possible by the support of people. Haji Yusuf Ghazi out of the UK for mashallah sponsoring the entire event here and in Pakistan. For Haji Fayez Khan sponsoring the entire event of all of here and all the different families that are immensely supportive and their generosity and their blessings. We try to teach at the beginning the Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq and there are many hadiths from the Holy Companions that just giving one dirham, the equivalent of one dollar in the way of Mawli the Nabi is a door to paradise, is an immense blessing, immense immense blessing. Imagine living in a society where they don't know anything about Sayyidina Muhammad So these are not comparable to back home where you have 100,000 people coming from Milad and they say, oh back home we do 10,000, 20,000. That's great, you should be because you're a Muslim country. But this country is not Muslim. In this country it's important to show that no, we have an immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad oh, oh, oh. and that we are Muhammadiyun, that we want Allah to dress us from Nur Muhammadi oh, oh. and that Allah dress us and bless us with all of its beauty and all of its satisfaction that when Sayyidina Muhammad oh, looks upon us that he be happy and pleased, that the character, the khuluq, the khuluq is important. The tariqahs come and the difference between our teaching and many other teachings that you'll find in different centers is the emphasis on the khuluq, on the character. And there are many hadiths that Prophet described. There are people that their amal is very high. They pray a lot, they fast a lot, they read a lot but their khuluq is bad. That amal has no value in the presence of Allah 
and then describe that there are people whom their aman is weak, but their khuluq, their character is strong, and Allah is very pleased with them. If you have good khuluq, if you have good character, Allah inspires your heart, go make your salah on time. If you have good character, Allah inspire your heart, then give your zakah. When you have good character, your salah, it counts because Allah is happy with that servant. So khuluq is important, not amal, khuluq. That the good character, no backbiting, no bad talking, not being angry, not showing all the bad characteristics, and that is the jihad al akbar. The jihad al akbar is to fight yourself and all your bad character. As soon as your mouth wants to backbite somebody, hold your tongue. As soon as you want to speak bad about somebody, hold your tongue. Don't use your bad character to come out. If you have bad character and 30 years you're praying, means Allah didn't accept your salah. Why are you praying and you still have bad character? The amal, if it didn't help you, means Allah didn't accept it. Somebody saying, Shaykh, I've prayed 30 years but I'm very angry. Means your salah was not accepted by Allah When Allah accepts your salah, your khuluq changes. Because it has ikhlas, it has sincerity. If the, if the action is not sincere and the character is not good, the aman is wasted. They're just busy moving, 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 doing, 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 but they talk bad, they act bad. It means that the aman didn't even raise up into the heavens. So the tariqahs come and the turuqs come and traditional ahl sunnah wa jamaah, all tariqahs. There is not an Ahl Sunnah with Jamaah Shaykh that doesn't have a doubt. They all follow the madhab and they have a doubt, they have a way of tasting. Either they're Qadri, Shaykh, they're, they're Naqshbandi, what do you have in Tafsir? No, the Chisti, all the different tariqahs, the way of the doubt can taste. Means that these Turuqs, they came to teach that build the character, a character in which Allah to be happy. Every time you want to be angry, every time you want to exhibit something bad, you want to talk bad, bite your tongue, hold your tongue not to say it. As a result, Allah grants the servant to be sincere. When the servant is sincere, they have khushya, they have a shyness in their heart, they feel like crying, they feel sad, they feel ashamed in front of Allah if they say something bad, if they do something bad. We pray that Allah by means of Mirad al Nabi to take away every bad characteristic, to save ourselves, to save our children, and to save our communities. And that the light of these mawlud, the light of these Mirad, to enter into the Qab and to save us from the difficulties of the Qab. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين ورحمة محمد المصطفى وبسير سورة الفاتحة